Foxhole is turning into a bit of a poop show with the new building exploits players have found. It's honestly getting to be a little ridiculous at this point. I know we talk about Foxhole being a sandbox game, but this is going a bit too far. I think we are one more exploit away from the community just blowing up entirely. I'm going to be honest and say that I was being naive when it came to the border base situation. I really thought the devs would have tried to do something about it in the new update, or at least with some kind of hotfix. The devs just don't really care about any of this. I normally don't care about these things as well, but right now there are just too many exploits going on. We are just getting to a breaking point in Divided as a community where you either think that these exploits are meta tactics to use, or you take the high ground and know that this is not how the game is intended to be played, and put yourself at a disadvantage for the current war. I'd always rather lose a war than cheat or exploit personally, but I'm also not going to stop yelling at people for using these quote unquote meta tactics as well. So the cycle will continue. Each faction will justify that they are in the right for doing the next big exploit because the other faction did it first. We've already hit a new low with this new castle building mechanic with foundations. People are just raging and screaming at each other about it all the time. Very few players want to have discussions about it and very few want to be the bigger players that don't use these exploits. This is the community that the devs have built with their lack of communication and moderation. We used to have player moderators a long time ago. I would love to see something like that back, but we all know that that kind of power can go to a player's head. So I'm sure that wouldn't quite work, but having some kind of moderation at least would be something. Long ago, there was a time that you would get banned with mod action if you climbed up the wrong building. Where did that type of moderation go? Now you can climb up any mountain you please, even if it's not intended. I know the world has gotten bigger and the dev team has not, but something needs to give, right? Because of the lack of moderation, players continue to say things like, well, the devs haven't patched this out, so we need to keep doing it to get their attention to make them aware of this issue. I actually got behind this excuse the first time that I heard it, but no more. I've changed my mind and I think this is a lame excuse and justification to keep exploiting building mechanics or other game mechanics. Just trying to raise dev awareness does not cut it anymore. When I make these videos, I know a lot of you say just avoid the drama and you're right, that's easy to do, but I feel like I should also bring this stuff out into the open and bring other players up to speed on what is going on in the world. I think a new player would be pretty confused seeing these foundation walls on the front line for the first time. This wall oh, stuff is ridiculous. Dude, what the- yeah, what is this, man? Uh, foundations <laughs> that are supposed to be used for <laughs> facilities, but it's it's gotten a little out of hand. Damn, yo. It's not, and it's like hard to kill too, eh? Yeah, 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 it takes a- oh! Oh! Players need to understand that both sides have regiments and clans and players that exploit any time they can. No faction is better than the other in that regard. As I've stated in previous exploit videos, we need to blame the devs and not each other. It's December 21st, 2023. If you are someone that's watching this in the future, make sure to do your research on Foxhole and watch more videos if you're trying to decide if you want to try out Foxhole. Don't watch this video and think that Foxhole is currently in a bad state. I would say even with what is happening right now in Foxhole, the game is still a lot of fun and playable. So don't shy away from the game because of this video. There are just a few things that need fixed and adjusted. The main issue right now is that early to mid-war, people are exploiting and abusing the resilience of gravel foundation and using them as frontline defenses around bunker bases. In the first dev branch of 1.0, you could actually raise these foundations by just scrolling your middle mouse button while building it. The devs realize that having the ability to do this might cause people to use these foundations in unintended ways, so they removed the ability to change how tall the foundations were. Players were still able to find a way to do it anyways without having to need the middle mouse wheel to raise the wall. The devs didn't really fix the problem, they just made it harder to do. The main purpose of foundations was to reduce the size of facilities so that players wouldn't spam facility buildings all over the map. After several wars, we can see that foundations still aren't quite serving their main purpose. All of this started back in War 97. Some people think that this is a fairly new exploit, but it's actually been around for quite a while now. Foxhole players are pretty good at keeping exploits a secret. Foxhole is labeled as a sandbox game, and some players really take that to heart. Players are given these large pieces of land to build on, and players can build and do as they they want as long as they are within the game limitations. And this is how some of these players think when they are building these foundation castles, is that it is within the game's limitations. So in their mind, they don't think they're cheating or exploiting in any way. People believe that the foundation wall is just a new mechanic and a new strategy for builders to use in the game. Players that think these foundation walls should stay argue that they need more protection from artillery. And a lot of people don't think artillery is currently in a good state within Foxhole, and that is at least something both sides can agree on. Fun fact, it takes 106, 120 millimeter shells to kill one foundation two by two. So to kill some of these bigger foxhole castle foundations, you sometimes need 2,000 plus shells. When we get to the late game, these foundations are a lot easier to kill. Right now it only takes about 14 40 millimeter shots or two 250 millimeter rounds to kill a two by two foundation. Late game, these foundation walls are not surviving as much and players stop trying to build them for the most part and we forget about them until the next war. I will admit, it sucks to spend a lot of time building a bunker base with great AI defenses all over only to have your core focus down within minutes by artillery. Bunker 
longer bases are extremely vulnerable to early artillery and players hate having to either spend their whole time hammering to keep the core alive or walking out of the base to get blown up and having to wait 30 to 45 seconds to spawn. I think a lot of players are meeting at this crossroad where we know that foundation walls are cheesy, but we also know that bunker balance and design from artillery is quite not where it should be. I don't want to make it seem like I agree with the foundation wall mechanic. My personal opinion is that it should be patched out in some way, but the devs should look at finding ways to protect our bunker core from artillery as well. We all know that builders need quality of life change and that we need it soon. Maybe this is something that could be part of the smaller updates coming out here soon. I would like to see something added that helps us protect bunkers against artillery instead of spamming blueprints around it or construction vehicles or these foundation walls. Do you think artillery is too strong right now? Or is it just right and people are having skill issues? Let me know in the comments. A possible solution could be that foundations are more vulnerable to artillery shells. They could take extra damage from shells and still be resilient to everything else that partisans would bring. Gravel foundations should be a lot weaker than the concrete foundations that are teched later, so artillery should be able to blow them up easier. Or maybe we can have it so facility buildings can be built outside of foundations. That way you can build facility buildings around defensive buildings much easier. I think this might help a little bit with the facility LARPing we see on the front lines, or it would be just a terrible idea and you can let me know. I will admit some of these foundation castles look really cool. Kind of gives me some Attack on Titan vibes with these railroads on the walls. We need to remember that this type of thing happens in every game and not just Foxhole. There is an exploit of any kind, players will always use it to their advantage. This is why dev communication is so crucial. There will always be cheese and exploits for the developers to work on and get rid of. You just need to decide what kind of player you want to be. The one that takes advantage of the exploit to win the fake war, or the one that doesn't mind losing the war if it means they aren't exploiting. Only you can decide that. Overall, I'm going to try not to complain about exploiting anymore. It's getting to some pretty extreme levels when you stack them all up together. I'll still update players when it's needed, but if the devs are going to just continue to ignore what's going on, then the sad truth is we are just going to have to accept that it's part of the game. Plenty of players don't use exploits and even tell other players to stop using exploits. I hope you players keep up the good fight. I hope the devs focus more on the quality of life of the game in the next minor updates. Stop adding four new vehicles that are also broken and focus on some day-to-day -day operations that the players are dealing with. As I've stated in previous videos about this kind of drama, I don't care about the faction talk. If you go into the comments of this video and start blaming a specific faction, I'm not going to take your comment very seriously. Talk about the issue, what you want fixed about it, and leave it at that. I'm really glad I mainly play Lodgy and get to chill in the back line and don't have to worry about a lot of these exploits. It hurts to see them and hear about them, of course, but I'm glad it doesn't affect my gameplay. I would really like more communication from the devs, even if it's just a statement. If they aren't going to take any actions, that's fine, but at least say something about it. I've seen them push out hotfixes pretty fast with these new naval ships, so why can't we get more communication about these other exploits and quicker hotfixes for them? Let me know what you think about the current state of Foxhole in the comments. Am I overreacting or are these exploits getting a little bit too much? Thank you so much for watching and all of your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Remember, castle building is for anvil empires, not foxhole. Cheers.